wait to see what goes You can't imagine how bad these fighters want to get their hands on each other. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. will slow down, it picks up. I know boxing fans around the world feel like Christmas morning with these two finally in the ring. God, listen to them, listen to them. You can, you can hear the noise, but you don't know what they're saying. It's that loud, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, you hear, I'm sorry. One of the hottest tickets around. It's standing room only for this, our main event. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. You'd like to see more jabs. That punch landed. Rest for the weary. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. You know the scorecards are gonna be all over the place in this one. Nice counter shot. an eternity for them. Here we go for round two. So much for boxing. This is a fight. That left hook misses. a scoring blow. So that left lands. One punch could change everything in this battle. Shot with the left. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. It's all offense all the time. Quick punch scores. Both want the knockout. She got out of the way of that right hook. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. the bell for round three. This fight has a real good flow to it. She just gets out of the way of that left hand. Nobody home with that hook. A swing and a miss with the right hook. Some 
you've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with it? Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with such hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. believe what we are seeing. Oh, that punch. They won't give us a second to catch our breath. knockout or bust for both of these fighters. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Pretty dominant. There's the bell for round four. about punches and bunches that's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed i've never seen a fighter so fast in my life how do you deal with this you gotta hope you gotta hope they went out of speed not a lot of defense here at all And wait a minute, the left hand lands. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of punches and they're not throwing as many on their own. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. Failing to score with that right hook. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked? Fighters want to see the judges' scorecards. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Well, there was no... On to the fifth we go. the great equalizer in boxing but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily how do you deal with it it's the one who draws first blood top that's what you've got to look at if you pick and you know you're in there with a banger you've got to be on it but you've got to be confident when you're a power puncher you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw it's about how many you land and how hard they are. Why aren't they defending? Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. Not many of the people in the division hit like them. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable, drag them, get them complaining to the referee, because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into a rhythm, the fight is over. Some 
got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses. How do you deal with it? A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious. Here's the bell for round six. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Back and forth they go. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. Todd, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? Nice exchanges from both women in this round. Right punch. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, toe to toe with them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. As bad as boxing judging... Round seven, here we go. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. They score again with the left hand. is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. You'd like to see more jabs. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. Solid punch. She misses with that jab. She misses with the jab. Neither one of them wants this to go to the judges' scorecards. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. It's no secret who has the advantage after that. Here's the bell to start round eight. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws. 
And that's a very confident spot to be in. I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. Another scoring shot there. <laughs> Trying to answer back. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. This can be so frustrating when you're almost such a fast fighter. Fast fighter that can throw three full shot combinations before you even let one off. That creates frustration and that's when it gets hard. These two are the perfect dance partners. Nice punch. Keeping their gloves up. That left shot lands. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Got the momentum, they got the advantage. How do they carry that? Let's see how much fatigue we see here in round nine. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fight, we fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable. Oh, you play calm, play cool. So much for boxing. This is a fist fight. Oh, what a punch. a scoring left hand. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful though. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain then. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? What a world championship fight we're seeing, ladies and gentlemen. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Now you start wondering how much It's round 10. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget. You can bang too. Nope, that hook won't score. No rest for the weary. Caution being thrown to the wind.
Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. So you're getting in there with something that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick it, because you've got to get some before you get in close. That punch lands. They both want a knockout, you can tell. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Is... Here we go in the championship rounds, round 11. That punch scores. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. What you've got to do, Tony, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you've just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope you're never going to know where the shots are coming from. You've just got to put in a guess. That left hook missed. No rest for the weary. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym, you can do it in a fight. They've got to relax. They score with that left hand. That's right hand. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. I'm worried about these two fighters gassing out as this fight goes on. We thought we would have made it to 12. Someone's will will cave, but which fighter will it be? They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around us. Work the body, use tactics sometimes it's so hard to actually outbox a fight and beat them on points. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. There's a right hand. Best rounds I've seen this year. That left scores. By the way, the connect percentages have to be off the charts. Couldn't write a script like this. 
This is like Rocky versus Apollo. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. You've heard the old phrase, this might come down to who wants it more, but it might. They ring the bell, and here we go. old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. Let me explain to you about a fast fighter, a fast fighter that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed. They're confident. They know they just have to quick burst. Boom! In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed. And that's why they can maintain this all the way through a fight. Punch. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. It's knockout or bust for both of these fighters. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches and they're not throwing as many on their own. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system. Throw a certain amount of punches per run because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again and the fight will be over. She can't find a home for that jab. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. We'll see how much endurance these... We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Punch. Hey, those punches add up. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you've got to think him. You've just got to be smarter than him. You've got to be like a little fagin and pickpocket him. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. Fighter willing to slow down. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. Perfect punch. Just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. How much cardio was put in for this fight? It may come down to that. And there's the bell to start the round. both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, 
It's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Good left hand. She throws the jab, but it doesn't score. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. When you have a fighter that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed, it's so hard. It's an uphill battle. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. Couldn't land that jab. Punch. Big swing and a miss with the hook. Nice punch. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Surprise there, a unanimous decision. Unanimous? You know what? Smart, smart that is. A total change of style.